The refreshing sound of cool, clear water pouring out of a fountain at 40 Nursery in Great Falls is almost enough to make you forget about the sweltery heat and the impact it can have. Over here, this zone, it's more Almost. Hardy. We have noticed uh, some varieties of things more than others. Um, things that are kind of tall and leggy and that have heavy growth patterns, they tend to be a little bit more affected. Nursery manager Sarah Kenyon says staff at the nursery are trying to be as proactive as possible. We've been pretty on top of our watering game, trying to be proactive, knowing it's going to be super hot and um, not waiting for things to get uh, depleted from their water source. The same goes for the staff themselves. I'm a water pusher and um, so yeah, just making sure that everybody's staying hydrated and taking breaks, um, dipping into the AC every once in a while. Easier said than done perhaps, but important steps to keep everybody fresh so they can keep everything else looking fresh. For tips on how to take care of your plants in the heat, check out this story on our website in Great Falls. Colter and staff, MTN News. Some businesses may be seeing a boost right now as people look for ways to beat the heat. The manager of the Ace Hardware store on the Northwest Bypass in Great Falls says air conditioners, swamp coolers and water related items like kiddie pools and pool supplies are going fast. Items to help keep bugs away are also a big seller right now. COVID has affected a lot of things. Supply and demand has created a lot of issues there, even down to the trucking and getting the product here, but we do a really good job. Uh, buyers stay on top of things to where we are constantly searching for either uh, merchandise that might be in our Ace Warehouse or different venues and different uh, sources for where we can get the product. In. And he also encourages people to get a barbecue grill if they uh, don't have one and use it to cook food so they don't have to use the stove or oven and heat up their house. Well, people across the area, of course, they're looking for ways to beat the heat. Our drone team captured this video at the White Sandy Campground. This afternoon, kids rush to the water to cool off, whether by beach or by boat. The Missouri River is one of the many places area families flocked to to get a break from the heat. So the question on, on everyone's mind is when will things cool down? Well, it may not be for a while. With more on that, here's Ryan Dennis in the Storm Tracker Weather Center. Yeah, it was another sunny and very hot day today. And so far as we've gone through the work week, temperatures have been getting hotter and hotter every single day. And right now on our Opportunity Bank iCam, we can see plenty of blue sky out there, but it's very hot, currently 99 degrees down in Helena. We're currently in the mid to upper 90s in a lot of locations, 95 degrees here in Great Falls, 97 degrees in Haver right now, 94 degrees in Glasgow, and 92 degrees in Cup Bank. For a lot of us, the wind has not been a huge issue today, but along the high line, there has been a little bit of a breeze around throughout the day, and that wind's actually going to pick up as we head into tomorrow and even into Friday in some locations, which means we are going to have critical fire weather conditions around, so just be aware of that. On satellite and radar, pretty quiet. Still no clouds or precipitation to worry about, but that will be changing over the next couple of days. And as we take a look at the headlines, it's going to continue to be very hot tomorrow and Friday and even this upcoming weekend, but the good news is that we are going to have a chance to see a few rain showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and Friday. And